welcome back to a new vlog. It is fireplace season. I thought I would kick off this vlog just showing you guys what's new. My office is a little bit of a mess right now, so I'm gonna show you these clips from the other day. If you remember, we had our Halloween spookiesy room in there and I ended up loving the black walls. I'm still a little bit up in the air on if I want to paint the ceiling or not. So cast your vote. It's not painted right now. One day when I was doing work out in the living room, Giselle just like set up the entire room. She made a little mocktail bar, which I think is fitting for like the work day. And then she just got a new desk, so she moved that mini one into my office, which I think is actually perfect because there's no space in there. And then the green chair is from Article. And then still on the list of the vision for the future is I wanna change out those cat prints <laughs> and a couple of them that are just like Halloween spooky. I tried going to TJ Maxx the other day, which is where all of those like big frames are from and they didn't really have anything. So now I think I'm just going to go on Amazon or something and find prints that size to swap out in the frames. But then it's tricky because some of the frames like don't have glass on the front. They're just like canvases. So we'll see what I come up with. It's not the end result. Um, and then let's get to the bathrooms. The bathrooms, I'll say it, they have no vibe. They're not complete. We have new floors and they don't fully match what we want to do with like retiling. Um, well, just one of the showers we want to retile first. I'll start with this half bath. You walk in right here and these are the floors we picked. This rug is probably not going to, oh, well, it's definitely not going to stay here with our new vibe, but I just love these little checkerboard floors in dark bathrooms. So inspiration images on screen of what I would love this to look like. We do have black paint left over from the office that would be enough to paint this room and I would do the ceiling too. So we could either paint this dark and that could be good enough or we might get a really dark like funky wallpaper and I just picture like cool art on the walls and like gold frames right now. This is the only print we have. And then we have sm a smart mirror in here, actually all the bathrooms, but in here we never use it. Like it provides great lighting, but we don't get ready in here. So we really wanna get an asymmetric like gold mirror in here, I think would be really cool. And then we're probably just gonna work with this cabinet maybe in the long run, we'd switch this to something else. Oh, but I do wanna get brass faucets or hardware as well as, and I wanna do this in the office too. I wanna get like either like an antique brass or just like gold light switch and outlet covers. I think that'll be really cool. And so that's the vision. So we have four bathrooms and they had two rub the floors out of three of the four. So one is staying the same, but this one, this is the new tile here. So just these large tiles and what the floor looked like before was this gray. So it was just like a dark vibe. It was fine, but you know, in the long run, I'll put inspiration photos of what I want this bathroom to look like. So we will end up changing just all three of these walls to some kind of, I don't know, like cool subway tile. I don't know if that's the word for it. Change out all of the hardware, same type of vibe, and then maybe paint the walls or do like a lime wash. And then this exact same flooring is in my bathroom. Please excuse me that I did not clean any of this up for the video clips, but just the same floor in here. Again, it used to be that dark gray and I do like the shower in here. I think it'd be cool to like lime wash the walls in here or something maybe and change the hardware you know the deal. There's also just like so much space in this bathroom. I just moved the stool in here that goes in the closet because my closet is a little full at the moment, but there's so much space. So I think having like shelves or something up here could be really nice. So yeah, who knows? Who knows what the future holds, but that's what the bathrooms are looking like. And some of them, I don't remember if it's in here, but the paint where the plumbers had to, well, they put like plastic coverings on like everything in our house um, so that they didn't damage stuff. So when they took the plastic covering the walls, it ended up ripping the paint off the walls and certain spaces, especially the half bath, but just in case you noticed that. But I guess that's kind of it for the updates actually. I just wanted to walk you guys through sort of the long-term vision. I have a busy work day ahead and then a really fun event I'm going to tonight. And then this is gonna span a few days. All right, so here is my outfit of the night. I'm going to the Princess Polly event. Everything is from Princess Polly. So I just got these knee-high boots that I think are so cute. I think this is gonna be outside, so I bundled up a little bit. The dress I'm wearing underneath this is just a long sleeve dress. The bag is from there, and I'm heading out. Yeah, right? I've actually never tried a few boots right now. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
happy Saturday. I am kicking off today. It is a couple of days later since the event. Um, it was in short, so much fun. I've already talked about this over on TikTok. So I'm gonna save the spiel and just move on into the present. Giselle is actually out of town this weekend. Um, which I normally hate, but I have so much to do this weekend that I think it's actually kind of convenient how the timing worked out. Also, is it too bright? I cannot figure out the lighting because it's raining outside. So it's like either so dark in here or if I turn the lights on, I feel like it's just really bright. But anyways, welcome to the little coffee bar. I just love having this in the house, both like when people are over, it feels like we have like a real bar. Like Giselle and I will go on dates to the bar when we don't want to go spend money on overpriced drinks that we could make at home. And we'll just like set up a cute bar setup. We have like really cute lights that just set the vibe in here. So today's the coffee bar. Even though it's the weekend, I have a lot to do. I guess I'm just gonna read off what I'm hoping to do today. Also today's outfit. I have been obsessed with these little Fabletic sets that are so soft and fuzzy and it doesn't perfectly match, but it's close enough. Um, this cardigan I already had. Funny story about this cardigan. So the last time I lived with Roommates. One of our roommates was an assistant for a lot of celebrities or like worked for a company that worked for a lot of celebrities. And so she would frequently get like, I mean, you think influencers get gifting? Like celebrities get gifting. This is from House of CB and it was going to Jada Smith. Living in LA is so weird and being like one degree of separation away from just a lot of famous people and hearing the stories and hearing what people are really like, crazy. But anyways, this was sent to Jada. It was given to me because Jada didn't want her PR. My roommate was giving it away. I took it and good thing it didn't go to Jada because it is like shredding. But anyways, to finally get to my to-do list, just in general, a lot of this is preparing to go out of town to go to New York City, which is where Giselle and I are going to be spending things Thanksgiving because we were already going to be going there for a really exciting partnership like you guys This is a dream like dream brand partner I don't know if there's anybody above them that I've wanted to work with so you'll see that coming up probably right after I'm in New York, but we decided to just extend the trip and spend Thanksgiving there, if you know, you know. So I wanna try to get my outfits together. I've ordered a couple of like fall winter staples that I've been really loving. So I'll show you guys that. I need to do some editing. I want to keep decorating for Christmas. I've been filming so many videos at the same time. So that's gonna go in the other video, but I want to do some of that today. I need to plan this year's gift guide. That is a video that I'm really proud of every year. I feel like I have some good resources good ideas. I know you guys really love that. There's probably been a lot of videos, I would assume, if all goes according to plan, that have gone up, I guess, over the past week or two. So if you're liking the more frequent uploads, let me know. I need to catch up on my budget spreadsheet for the month of November. I'm also going to be sharing that in advance of the new year by request. I know you guys have been asking for a really long time. I need to do laundry. And lastly, since Giselle is gone when she gets back, I wanted to do a little something to surprise her. I'm talking really fast because my memory card's about to cut out and I don't want to get her flowers because we're going out of town. So I think I'm going to clean out her office and decorate a little bit. Just have it looking all nice for when she gets back. So that is it. I made it in time. Let's get started. Also, you guys, if you see any pieces of dandruff floating around. <laughs> yeah, you are seeing that correctly. And this is also a cry for help, okay? We, since moving to this house, like obviously water supplies from the city are different in different areas, different cities, whatever. And since moving here, Giselle noticed at first, like almost immediately, she was like, this water is drying out my hair, drying out my skin. And it took me longer to notice, but like right now, I have never had dry skin. I have never had dry hair. And like every time I shower, like my scalp is so dry. And what do I do? I keep seeing ads for those faucets that supposedly like filter stuff out. Giselle thinks that's gonna help. I kind of think that's not gonna help, but I don't know. What do we do? Do we spin on this faucet head, shower head thing? Not faucet, I meant shower head. Any of you guys have those? Have you noticed real changes? Do you recommend? Is that just advertising? Let me know. So this is Giselle's office. Giselle had better luck than I did getting her desk here all in one piece. So I will link this below. For the longest time she was using just that tiny white desk that is now in my office. This rug is just from Walmart. I was gonna use it in my office and then it ended up matching her vibe better in here. So yeah, we have long-term visions for this room. We might lime wash the walls, but then I'm like, maybe we shouldn't because the paint color we already have pretty closely matches these shelves that I've had for years and years and years. We love the look of like built-in shelves, which obviously obviously is an investment, but so these are from West Elm. I'll, I'll just link everything, um, but basically they sell just this bottom like cabinet or console part, or you can buy it with these shelves on top. And so we thought it could be cool if we separated these out and put one more of the little two cabinet thing in the middle, and then that will free up 
um, like a U of open space here and then we could do some art and then a picture light. That's one option. The other option is wait on built-ins. The other option is lime wash the walls. I wanna get some curtains in here, which we just have not done yet. Oh, I see a bug bug right there. This room is also technically a bedroom, so there is a closet here. I love seeing when people like take off um, their mirrored or just doors in general that slide like this on closets and they turn their closets into cool. I mean, this could be a coffee bar, not that we need it. Like this is not a need. Honestly, we need the storage probably most. Got a lot of art in here, some Halloween stuff. So really it's just tidying up. Fun fact as I clean up, which is I used to work at Aloe. If you may have ever been to an Aloe store where they had a cafe in it, that was Giselle that went around and opened all of them and came up with everything and sourced it all years ago. She used to work in food and beverage. Fun fact, that's why she knows so much. It's like clothes. TBT, major throwback. guys okay so this is what i look like right now right okay as we speak so i'm like just sitting here starting to do laundry i'm like am i hearing my phone vibrate it's all the way in the other room like why did i hear this and i go answer it and right now my 10 year high school reunion is going on which is in north carolina like in no world was i paying to fly home just for this the people i want to keep in touch with for the most part i keep in touch with you know like not that i don't want to see anyone but also i don't want to see anyone you know what i mean <laughs> So my best friend, Caroline, who some of you guys know, she was our, not class president, but I don't really, whatever. Somehow her student council role was in charge of planning this reunion. So she's been begging me to go. I'm sorry, no level of friendship is getting me to this reunion. As well as if you've joined in the last 10 years, I went to a Christian school. So it's like when you're taught, obviously, you know, a lot of con Christian conservative viewpoints on things so that might apply to me. And like, I don't know if staff's gonna be there. Like it's not worth my discomfort of going there with Giselle or even just by myself. So anyways, point being here I am looking like this. Receive a, a FaceTime call from Caroline. I'm thinking, Okay, the thing's over that's been going since brunch. So I answer. They're all at the bar and I'm getting the walk around of like people I've not thought of since high school. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like Caroline, I, I'm in a bra, like what? And so I was immediately like, no, this is not happening. And she was like, I'm gonna be mad at you if you hang up. And I'm like, well, I'm mad that you called, quite frankly. Oh man. And then I hung up. So that was funny. On to laundry as I mentally recover. Adulthood is just never it. Ending laundry changed my mind. I'm so frazzled, I just put detergent in the softener side. And then was like, do I put softener in the detergent side? But I feel like those could go at different times, so I instead put detergent in both sides. How's this gonna work out for the laundry? I don't know, I'm just gonna sprinkle some softener in there. I just got a Poppy PR package in the mail, which I'm so excited about. I've been seeing this on people's stories. I'm so excited to try the Christmas flavor. Some cranberry fizz, raspberry rose. I love those. And then it's a little sip and lip duo. That's cute. So we have just a little lip gloss for each one. I'll add that to my stash in the fridge. You guys know. I'm gonna take a little break while I eat some leftovers. I've been watching All the Light We Cannot See, which I know this is based off of a book, which I started reading years and years ago. And I don't think I finished it. I don't really remember, but Giselle did not really get into the show. I have though. Let me know what you think if you've been watching it. It is so cozy in here, you guys. I've just been doing a bunch of computer work to not get to everything on the to-do list today. I'm trying to stay awake. I'm actually going over to a neighbor's house tonight. We're closest with two couples in our neighborhood that are both kind of, I don't know, I would say like my parents' ages. One might be younger than that they don't have kids so i'm not really sure but i'm so excited a just because i love them like they are fun i like hanging out with them like it doesn't matter that we're obviously very different ages like they just feel like friends like also older like parental figures in a way but also just like friends you know but what i'm so excited for is that one of the couples i guess hosts an annual wine and cheese party love like you guys i was born for suburbia like i really think like this is just what i was made for so anyways we saw them and she asked if i would be willing to help her with some of her party planning you guys she is like she's trying to get live reindeer she's getting a sleigh as like a photo prop like this is like my type of 
party. Anyways, she invited me over tonight to have cocktails and party plan and she added me to her Pinterest like vision board and I'm just so excited. Happy Sunday. I had so much fun last night with my neighbors. Stayed there until like 1 a.m. Again, I'm thriving in suburbia, but boy do I have a haul, whoops, for you guys. Ah! I need to start packing for New York too. Starting with these pajamas that I got from J. Crew. Um, I have another pair too. I actually have them right here. That's just like a little checkered flannel print. These are definitely softer. I mean, just by way of the material, these are like a bit boxier, but I still think they're pretty cute. I need to get you guys higher up. I'm trying to figure out how I would style things as like full outfits, but I just got this coat from Abercrombie. I feel like every year I try to invest in one new coat and then eventually I'm gonna have like every color and shade. So this feels pretty quality. The rest of my outfit is from Aritzia. So this is just a ribbed, like very thick top that's long sleeves. And then paired with this skirt from there as well. This skirt, it like buttons up the very front and it matches perfectly. That's another thing about brown is trying to figure out what shade of brown. It's not like black, which is what all my clothes used to be. There's so many shades of brown and this stuff doesn't match. But I got these boots that I saw um, Danielle wearing that are just Dolce Vita because they have a really small heel. And so I thought maybe these would be good for walking around comfortably and i ordered some brown tights as well how do we feel i'll link it speaking of this jacket is not the same shade of brown as this skirt although is it doable or is this like too off i just picked out this jacket at the princess polly event the other day and it's oversized i got it in a size 10. we really like oversized jackets so i think this is pretty cute next up from abercrombie i love their little faux leather pants i am such a fan of them they're stretchy but like not like so thin and see-through i've grown out of mine from a couple years ago <laughs> So I finally just bit the bullet and got some new ones so I can feel good. Have some outfits I love. So these are just brown again. They are like kind of a straight leg pant. I think they look cute. And then I paired it with, I don't know how I really feel about these, um, these little heels that I got at Abercrombie. Hopefully it'll be a bit comfier wearing out and about. I also got the same pants in black. I do get the curve love kind. And then lastly, for what I'm going to try on, Right now, I would definitely break out the Spanx for this probably when I actually wear it. It's just the exact same shade as this Aritzia top, also from Aritzia. That is just this little like pleather feeling skirt that has that has a slit on the side. And I got this with potentially like Thanksgiving dinner in mind. Or from J. Crew, this is like elaborate. Maybe this would be like another holiday dress. Um, but it's just this like long maxi, like not bodycon obviously, but like kind of fitted. Um, dress, but it's very stretchy. Same for the skirt, it's very stretchy. That is it for this video. I feel like this is long enough. <laughs> Let me know if you guys like these longer vlogs, and I'll be back next with my New York vlogs. So, see you guys then. Oh.